my role in the seminar today is to present results from a UK, a UK government project called the Foresight Project, trying to uh, figure out whether we can feed the world of 9 billion people in 2050 sustainably and equitably. It's been a two-year project and the final report will be released on January 25th. Today I, I'm re reporting on results with a, a global international trade model developed in the United Kingdom and uh, this version of it is based at the Institute of Development Studies in, at the University of Sussex. We're reporting on results as part of this project on mostly on the trade implications of different scenarios of, of long-run climate change scenarios and what, what are the implications for international trade. The scenarios we looked at in particular are what would happen in the future if you have a synchronized drought, for example, a, 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 a modestly a, a catastrophic failure in um, crops in a number of countries, major supplier countries like Canada and the U.S., and major demander countries like India and China. The, the, the effects are significant on world markets, but what's important is that if world trade can adjust, the effects are relatively minor. World prices go up, world trade adjusts to uh, supply the deficit countries with grains and achieve a level of food security. If, however, you have a response such as we've seen recently where a crop failure in Russia leads Russia to ban exports, then the world trading system can't function and you end up with a much more extreme scenario. World prices go up much higher, the importing countries are damaged and food security is damaged. The second scenario we looked at is what happens if there's a general failure of the world trading negotiations at the Doha round so that countries in fact revert to their bound tariffs uh, and it, it's not a, exactly a collapse scenario but it is a pessimistic scenario for the world trading system. Again, uh, world trade and agriculture is damaged and food security is damaged. World prices go up more. We also looked at, a, at the implications of an increase in demand for meat products, which has always been a concern. If the entire world starts eating more meat, what happens to the grain prices? We postulated a serious increase in the demand for meat in India and China and asked the question, what does it do to world markets? The answer is again, if world trade is able to adjust, the impact is rather minor. It, does a, it, it raises the price of meat and it raises the price of grains slightly. If world trade cannot adjust, then the, the implications are more serious. You have a higher price rises in both meat and grains. So the purpose of these scenarios, which complement the impact scenarios done at IFPRI, is to explore basically market effects and world price effects of these various scenarios.